Operating an armored vehicle in post-scriptum is a challenging task, requiring teamwork, communication, and coordination from all crew members. In this upcoming update, we have an entirely new set of challenges for crew members to overcome. Here's everything you need to know about the new mechanics. The M4A3 Sherman carries five distinct types of shell. Armor piercing, high explosive, armor piercing high explosive, high velocity armor piercing, and white phosphorus smoke. Firing from the powerful M1A276 mm cannon, the projectile's trajectory will be affected by gravity based on its weight and its velocity will be reduced due to air drag. In our example, we'll use a Sherman M4A3E8 to demonstrate how the different shell types will react to its armor and internals. Vehicles are equipped with vital and non-vital components. Damaging them will have different outcomes. Destroying three or more vital components will cause the tank to become irreparable and the crew will need to abandon the vehicle on the battlefield. Non-vital components like tracks on a single side and periscopes will not cause the vehicle to stop functioning, but will greatly hamper the ability to operate until repairs are done on each individual component. Upon impact, the simulation will analyze the shell type, its armor penetration potential, the velocity, and its angle relative to the surface to determine the outcome of the hit. If a shell is not capable of penetrating armor, it will shatter and send fragments around the point of impact injuring anyone unfortunate enough to be in the way. When a shell penetrates the armor, chunks of the projectile will be thrown around the interior as well as melting armor fragments, resulting in what is called spalling. The amount of spalling projected inside will be relative to the angle of the penetration itself. These chunks of armor are deadly and can cause serious injury to crew and damage internal components. The M62A1 is an armor-piercing shell with an explosive filler. Penetrating like an armor-piercing shell, it will explode on the inside of the tank, causing maximum flesh damage and component destruction. A tank on fire will need to be put out by its crews, or it may cause significant damage to nearby components, eventually leading to the tank burning down. Now, looking at this M42A1 high-explosive shell, it will explode upon impact if triggered by a thick enough surface, causing damage to anyone near enough the explosion. Best used against fortifications, lightly armored targets, and infantry, it throws shrapnel in all directions around its impact point. High-explosive shells are capable of damaging external components on heavier vehicles, such as the periscopes, tank cannons, side skirts, and tracks. Extra armor that is located on the outside of the tank, such as spare tracks or logs, will change the way a shell will behave further, reducing penetration chance and improving deflection. As a tank driver, your role is to make the best of this giant hunk of metal, managing your engine and maintaining maximum efficiency in both climbing ability and speed. Adjust your throttle to control the engine's RPM and your gear lever to change the adequate gear ratio. Lower gears will increase maneuverability, while higher gears will allow you to gain speed and mobility depending on the terrain. Mud, dirt, or snow, this new update will challenge even the most experienced crew. It's not for the faint of heart. This is Armored.